Hey, how do you guys? Welcome to my third tutorial video. Today we're going to be going over how to add some sort of detail to the outside of your house. I hope you had a great New Year's and I hope this is good for you. Alright, so often when you kind of come to a building and you've built your house, it sort of just doesn't quite look like it fits in, you know? I mean, it's a nice house. Maybe you've got a nice location, but there's still something missing. I'm going to show you some of the tips that I use and some of the tricks that I add into my builds to make them, make your house sort of feel at place and kind of give it a little bit more character. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to start with adding just some little pathways out, out of our houses. This, I guess, is kind of very straightforward. Everyone sort of adds a path. I really like the cobblestone and the, uh, what is it, andesite mix. I just feel like it's very natural, stony looking pathway. And the key for all of this is going to be to sort of randomize your placements, which is a skill that you sort of have to practice over time to become le perfect at it. Okay, so we've got a little path here. There's also a back door, so I'm going to go ahead and add a little back door path in. We'll just make this one a little bit shorter because it's not so important. Cool. Alrighty. Now, for this house, I'm going to actually add in some, where is it at, the hay bale, and we're just going to grab some yellow wool. And what I'm going to do is just in a couple of spots, I'm going to add a little pile of hay. Um, that's too high. There we go. Uh, like that. I think it's important just to have like one, you know, have one sort of key thing. So if, you know, over in the house from the last tutorial I made, I've used uh, leaves down here. We're going to try and stay away from leaves this time. And instead we're going to have like this, this hay bales as our key sort of focal point for the build. For the decoration of the build anyway. Um, we can also put some here. And also you can use sort of other blocks like uh, crafting tables and like chests and stuff to make it look like storage. Um, you know, those sort of things. You can get creative with it and sort of put whatever you feel like putting. Okay, so we've got that main sort of little detail done. It makes this house look very, you know, it makes it look like a farmhouse, almost like a barn. Um, so you could really kind of convert this into a barn if you want. I haven't done very much interior, but yeah. Next, we're going to go ahead and add in just quite a lot of grass. You can pretty much put this grass everywhere. Um, obviously not everywhere, everywhere, but I mean as in, you know, get a sort of a 25% coverage over your your build around the outside. Pretty much just spam it all out. Just splurge everywhere. <laughs> and there we there we go. Cool. So now you can see it's not too much. It's not like every single block. It's just it just covers the build nicely. And already, I'd say it's already sent to fit in a little bit better. We'll put a little bit more here. Like so. So, we've got our little pathways, we've got some hay bales, and we've got some grass. These are sort of the main three points, and the rest of here is like decoration, little additions, to really give it some pizzazz, you know? So yeah, we're going to add in some ferns. You just want to put, you know, not too many not too little, sort of in clumps of two, three or four is kind of a good way to do it. Um, so you can see there's sort of three here and then one there, two here, one there, two there, or two there. Yeah, you just want to get a little, a few, just a few. Maybe like 20 or something around the house. Next we're going to add the flowers. Now there's a little key sort of trick that you can use for flowers. You might have noticed it over here in this when I put them out, they're not sort of everywhere, they're not randomly placed, they have a sort of pattern. And the idea is that you you place them in clumps. So they all look like they're growing in sort of one area because that's the reality of it that you know plants sort of they don't just grow everywhere, they usually grow in kind of little sections and sort of where the seeds fall in that area. And that's what kind of makes them all grow. So we're going to do the same with the, the smaller flowers. Um, you can add a few more of these and also have them sort of 
go a little bit more wild and let's just sort of it's good to have like the taller flower and the shorter flower because it gives you a little bit of variation gives you some extra detail to your build and it's also nice to just see the the taller flowers and have the smaller ones scattering the place now when it comes to picking your flowers you're going to want to have I almost always use these guys these taller ones and then I'll pick either like the white tulips or maybe the, uh, the daisy here or the oh god I can't even be bothered to pronounce that I don't have to pronounce it let's be honest uh, the pink tulip these little white ones are often quite nice to use you can also of course if you're picking if you're using this one I'll often go with the this and this mix if you're using the if you're using the lilac here then I go for this this of course with the grass and and the uh, the fern with it and if we're using the rose bush which I don't often use I, I'm not sure I quite like it to be honest it's a little too bold for me but if you are going to use it and if you like it by all means go for it and we'll just use maybe a pink and a red tulip Ooh. like that the pink just gives it a little bit of variation the red helps it to blend in and there we go we got our kind of three little bush areas that you can sort of use we'll just get rid of them that you can sort of use to, uh, to add, add to your build. So, clearing them out. Now we've got our big flowers, our little flowers, we got our main, we got our path, we got all our grassy stuff. We're gonna add in just a couple of stones, sort of similar technique to the plants. You just put them in in little clumps, make them look like pebbles or sort of that. You can put a few more on the path, it's always nice and around the path. And this just adds, again, a tiny bit of texture and detail the outside of your build and now of course we've got sort of the basics um, I'm gonna add a few leaves just a little bit because it's always nice just to have some bushes they add a bit more green because all the green here is sort of the same color so we want to add just a darker shade of green uh, that might actually be bad there I'm gonna add some here some here and just a tiny bit there Perfect. Now for finishing touch, all we're gonna go and do is grab the tree from over here. If you haven't seen my tree tutorial video, you better go check it out. Learn how to make these beautiful little trees. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna paste it in back here. Find a nice placement for it. That's, ooh, that's a little bit bad. My bad. Um, of course you can just build these by hand if you if you want. I'm also going to add, rotate, rotate, give it a little bit of variation. Paste, minus air. Cool. And now we have um, our house starting to fit in a little bit. We can add some more plants and stuff around the trees. Make them look nicer. Make them look, make them look at home, you know, like they're part of the build. And there we have it. Our house is now much more at home. Let's just reduce my speed a little bit looks you know it just to me it feels like the house is meant to be there now you know, as before it looked a little bit just sort of smacked in there but now we have some trees which really add to it the trees are really a useful thing so if you're if you've got the patience and the time to be able to build the trees then by all means go for it and you know just make it your own also you know that's something that's really important and just take my word for it. If you if you like the the red rose bushes, go ahead and add them because at the end of the day, it's your building. You should uh, you should love it. You should cherish it as a child. Stroke its head at night and sing it pretty songs. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'll uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.